Well, over to the uh, far side of the track, right directly opposite from where we sit now for the men's 1500 meters. It's a big race, this one, 16 starters. Five men in this field have broken 330. Chariot is one of them, and what a season he is having. A fabulous year. The Commonwealth silver medalist, but he's had wins in Shanghai, Eugene, Rome, the Kenyan Championships, and Paris for the world's fastest time this year. Manangoy is the reigning world champion, the Kenyan. Commonwealth champion, second in Eugene, second in Rome. He won the Oslo Mile, but not in the form of last year yet. Central Wits, of course, of the USA is the Olympic champion, the US champion this year. And just in case you want those... Uh, high headline marks. We have the Olympic champion in this race, the world champion, the European champion, the Commonwealth champion, and if you want a few more, the US champion, the Kenyan champion, the UK champion in the figure of uh, Chris O'Hare. And uh, Jakob Halusa in wonderful form as well there, second away from the cam camera. There is Matt Centrowitz, 28 years old now, only 10th in Rabat, but in a season's best one week ago tonight. He's only ranked 20th in the world, but he's healthy, got rid of his injuries, he's back on the East Coast, coast being uh, coached by Alberto Salazar and his father, Matt Centrowitz, the uh, son here, the junior version is known as Matthew Centrowitz. Two Ingebrigtsons going in this one. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the 17 year old, who uh, last year lifted two titles at the European Junior Championships. He's a 3.52 miler at the age of 17, can you believe? And F Philip Ingebrigtsen is in there too as well. He's in wonderful form. The reigning European champion was sixth in Paris, close to his personal best, and second in Rabat last week. So they've gone off at a very healthy clip behind Bram Somme, the former European champion at 800 metres. The second pacemaker, Kivuva, slots in there behind Bram Somme. But they are looking for a viciously fast pace here. One minute, 50.5 seconds at 800 metres has been requested. But Amsom will have to keep ticking along here very, very crisply indeed. But the most of the pack look to be up for this, Chris. They do indeed. Manangoy settling in nicely. Chariot with that instantly recognisable forward-leaning style. No, no difficulty identifying him wherever we are in the world. And this is going to be a really, really exciting. Agida's in there as well in the red. Philip Imbergabritsen in fourth place now as they come through the bell. The time there, 2.33, about 2.33.5. It's Chariot from Manangoy. Then Wote, Philip Imbergabritsen, Suleiman. Kazuti having a great run. Igida is there as well. Jake Whiteman clinging on for all his worth as they go through 12 on in 2.48.06. 56.3 that third lap. That's an important clock clocking. 200 metres to run. They're still there. Big names producing big performances here tonight. And still Chariot in the lead from Manangoy. Philip Ingebrigtsen holding on to this pair, clinging onto their coattails. Has a gap of about three or four metres behind him to Wote. Then it's Kazuti moving round into fourth place. And down the home straight, Chariot with that familiar punching action. Draws clear, watch the clock. This is going to be tremendously quick. 26, 27, 328.41. Second Manangoy, third Philip of Britson, who surely has gone under 330 here tonight. Suleiman, Wote, quick, quick times here galore in that 1500 meters. But it was a bit of a procession, wasn't it? Because the pacemaking was good. Two or three of the main protagonists went with it. 3.28.41, the fastest time in the world this year by Timothy Chariot. He continues in his winning ways. Manangoy, 3.29.64 as season's best. Ingebrigtsen, oh, listen to this, 3.30.01, a national record. 1.100 outside the 3.30 barrier. And his brother, Jakob, 3.31.18. Not, not a bad family double. Unbelievable. And we haven't even spoken about the sister either, have we? Absolutely outstanding yet again, Chariot. And Manangoy having a real dust up there, but with 400 to go, you back to Chariot, and he didn't let us down. Put his foot on the gas, but Inga Britson, all credit to him for sticking to the two Kenyans. And then, as you mentioned in commentary, that familiar arm pumping, working so, so hard. Looking at the clock, 3.28. But he's full of running there, Chris, too. Manangoy in the background there in white. Looking tired, look at the contrast in arm action from Manangoy, who's just striding home. Chariot attacking it. That accentuated arm action of his is so distinctive. Exaggerated arm action, I should say, really, because it's effective, 
but it's unique. Chariot wins 328.41 in spectacular style. And uh, if you look down the all-time list, well, there's only some six men have ever gone quicker than that, and most of those many years ago in a different era, to be perfectly honest, in middle distance running and in so many other events. Chariot then winning for Manangoy. 1-2 for Kenya, but look at that 3-4 for Norway. Astonishing stuff.